In this lesson, we'll primarily focus on blocking in a section of hair that will be swooping around our character's head. So let's go ahead and dive back in. Okay, so we spent the last three lessons basically focusing on how we can apply volume and form over those wireframed, very simple poses that we created to block out the overall animation and action um, for our character here. And so my challenge to you was to finish out those last two um, frames, so just drawing uh, volume and form um, over those very simple stick figure poses. And so in between lessons, I went ahead and did the same thing on frames 11 and 12. So feel free to kind of take these two and kind of break them down and see what I did. But basically, you can kind of see how the head there is kind of turning down just slightly to kind of settle the body in and kind of finish out that action. Um, for this lesson, I've gone ahead and started us off by applying hair to the first five frames. And then from here on, we're going to go ahead and finish it out. This is the area I really wanted us to focus on where she's going to swoop her hair around. Okay. Um, really quick, let's go ahead and just click play, though, to kind of see how it's all looking. Okay, so really cool. I'm really happy with just the, the motion that we have here, the action that we have with our character. Again, just with a few minimal frames, um, you can already start to achieve something that has a lot of life to it. So let's go ahead and jump to frame six here. Okay, and so you can see over here in our layers panel that I've created new layers for frames one through five, each one of them. I've just created a new layer abo above the volume layer that we have for each one of those frames, and I've just color-coded it yellow. And you may have noticed that I've uh, taken down the opacity for all of the frames, all of the volume layers, if you will, just so we can focus on the hair a little bit more clearly. So it looks like frame six is this layer right here, this volume layer and this breakdown layer. So I'm going to create a new layer for frame six. And we'll go ahead and copy the name hair from a previous layer and apply it to our new layer. And then we'll color code it yellow. And you'll also notice I've chosen a darker color of blue for this. Okay, so let's zoom in here just a little bit. And if we have a look at the previous frame, we can kind of see how her hair is looking. And so at this point, I'm kind of preparing the hair to begin to swoop around. So kind of starting to curl right here. Some kind of pe some pieces of the hair. And so my best advice is to kind of keep the hair very simple, kind of treat it all as, as kind of one shape, really. Try not to bring in too many little individual strands or anything crazy like that. And of course, I want to go ahead and check all the previous frames and the frames that follow that layer we just drew on so that that hair information is not on those frames. All right, so let's go ahead and jump to frame seven now. And we're gonna do the same thing. Creating a new hair layer. And we'll kind of zoom in here. So at this point, this is where we're really starting to see um, some action take place with the hair. So this is a pretty quick motion. So we'll see some dramatic changes on each frame um, from here on out. So I'm just kind of coming around here and we'll kind of start with this side of the hair. And so we're basically this side right here we're still is still pretty much in the same place when you think about it. We're just kind of seeing it from a slightly different angle because she's turned her head. But right here, it's starting to get whipped up, basically. So that's kind of what I'm focusing on now. And so it might look something kind of like this, where it's starting to kind of get kicked up a little bit. 
And let's go ahead and remove that information, that visible information from the previous layers and the ones that follow it from the layer we just worked on. So already I can start to see that hair feeling like it's getting ready to be whipped around just by playing. Let's go ahead and jump to frame eight. And so frame eight would be right here in our layers panel. So these two layers right here, this storytelling pose and the volume over it. So creating our new hair layer. And we'll kind of zoom in here for frame eight and begin drawing the hair again. So I'll just go ahead and kind of start on this side. And again, you're still we're still kind of seeing this just from a different angle, still pretty much unchanged on this side of the head. And so right here, it'll start to whip up a lot more now. So taking these pieces right here. Just kind of curling that piece up a little bit more. They're basically getting kicked up a lot more as opposed to the previous drawing. And so I'm kind of keeping this all very minimal in design. I'm not having a lot of like little drawn hairs or anything like that. Just keeping it all kind of like a, again, treating it like a, a simple shape. And let's go ahead and play that really quick, see how it's starting to look. Already I'm starting to feel like that hair is swooping around. Okay, we'll go to frame nine. Again, creating a another hair layer. And we'll go ahead and zoom in here. And so at this point, she's tilted her head just a little bit more. So some of this body of this hair on her right side may be kind of drooping outward just a little bit right there. And then on the side where it's getting whipped around, we're just bringing it up a lot more now. Go and play that. Actually, let's go ahead and take care of the previous and following frames. All right, that's looking good. So it's starting to uh, swing around there. Let's jump to frame 10 and creating another hair layer. And we'll kind of zoom in here. And so we're going to start to really see some more action begin to take place as that hair starting to now come around towards the other side. So at this point, the action happened really quick. We don't want it to feel like the hair is moving around her head in slow motion. So now we're not going to have any kind of whipped pieces of hair on her right side, but rather on this side over here where we started to droop it outward, it's starting to get kicked up as well. That head, that hair is making its way around the back of her head. So we may have this one right here kind of curled up a little bit. Might look kind of something like this. And so basically you want to have a little bit of delay, a little bit of drag from this point onward for the hair. And let's go ahead and play that and see how it's looking. All right, very cool. So I'm really starting to feel that. So these last two frames, we just kind of want to um, draw a couple more to kind of show that, that drag a little bit of the hair um, getting swooped around. So we'll jump to frame 11, make another hair layer for frame 11, and just zooming in here. I 
And so right here, I don't want any kind of curled out pieces. I want them to all be kind of curling inwards as they're starting to, basically gravity starting to take its effect as the hair comes back around to kind of settle that, that motion, if you will. Something like that, maybe. All right, very cool. We'll get those previous frames there, hiding the visibility of that new drawing we just created. Let's go ahead and play this back again. All right, so we got one more, basically, where um, we want the, the hair to kind of have a little bit of bounce to it. Um, before we do that, though, I am kind of feeling like I may want to adjust this particular drawing. I may want to kind of bring that out further, just kind of making that comparison from the previous hair drawing. I may want to kind of bring that out just a little bit further. I felt like I had it coming in a little too close. All right, so that's feeling better. All right, great. Let's go ahead and jump to the last frame. And creating a hair layer for it. And we'll zoom in here. And so for this last one, I just kind of want to have a little bit of bounce to those little strands of hair that we already kind of see. So it might look kind of something like that, where those two pieces that we saw on the previous drawing, they've kind of settled down, and they're kind of bouncing now. Kind of a recoiled motion. So now we can kind of jump back to these previous ones and just kind of look for a little bit of consistency and just kind of see how everything is looking and let's go ahead and play this back now and see how it's turning out so that feels really nice it feels like the hair is swooping around and so we kind of delay it just a little bit right here and then we have a quick change where it just basically whips around right there so between frames 9 and 10 And so I like kind of how that looks right there. So again, this might be something where you would want to film a friend. Um, you know, if you have a female friend with some long hair, um, kind of film them, you know, whipping their hair around. And then bring that video maybe into um, QuickTime or something like that. Something you can scrub through and just kind of break it down. 